On today's episode of Fix It Your Motherfuckers Here, we got a 2014 Chevrolet Impala LT. Yeah, we're going to do front and rear brakes on this old girl, so y'all buckle up and enjoy the ride. Be back in a minute. Like always, you know, safety first. We got, we're going to do the rear first. Now, we're going to do the rear and the front driver's side. And we don't have to show y'all the passenger side because pretty much it's the same damn thing. So, we're going to start with the rear first. All right. First, you're going to need the 19 millimeter socket. Take out the wheel. If you don't have impact tools, you might want to loosen the lug nuts before you get it off the damn ground. Other than that, now we're going to sit here and get this thing on off. So, be back in a minute, y'all. Now we're gonna do take out these old bolts right there. One right there and one at the bottom. And that's taken off by a 14. So get your 14 and take these bolts off. Get this bad boy on off here. So be back in a minute. All right, we got the old brakes off. Put the new hardware in, because it's the old hardware right there. So we're going to, and when you put the hardware, everything that the brakes touch, slide, you want to grease that up with some old silicone paste. So back in a minute, y'all. At the moment, I can't find my tool to compress this caliper in. So if you don't, you got to improvise. So you get you some pliers here and turn it. Takes a little longer than the tool, but it gets the job done. So, be back in a minute, y'all. Yeah. You see, we got old Humpty Dumpty about to get again on the back. Now we get started on the front. Put this tire on and go on up to the front. So, be back in a minute, y'all. All right. The only difference in the front is the bolts here are 13 millimeter, not 14. So, We'll get these off and get after the motherfucker. And uh, back in a minute, y'all. Yeah. Oh, my granddad always taught me work smarter, not harder. So, usually tires sit straight. You might want to turn the wheel towards you so you ain't got to fight trying to get after, you know, get it towards your ass and you can get them off easier. So, back in a minute, y'all. Yeah. As y'all can see, we got the front ones on. Um, we was about to be doing the Flintstone with these. <laughs> so, you know, good thing we are changing it out. So, yeah. But that's what it's supposed to look like. So, let me go and get this thing put back together. And we'll holler y'all in a minute. Well, as y'all can see, the front has dual pistons. See, so put old brake. Get two C-clamps. One and two. And then... Put them like so, and crank them bitches down, compress the piston in. So, back in a minute, y'all. As y'all can see, we got old Humpty Dumpty back together again on this side, too. So, we're gonna put the wheel on, and we're gonna call this a wrap. So, how about y'all in a minute? As you get on the ground, as you can see, it jacks down. You're gonna wanna torque this thing to 110 foot pounds. So, after we get on and do that, in case some of y'all don't know how to torque it, let's see. So you put it on there, hear that noise right there? It lets you know it's torqued down. So we're gonna get the other four and we're back in a minute, y'all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got old Humpty Dumpty back together again. Now we're gonna take up a little test drive, then give it to the customer. We'll be back in a minute. Well, ladies and gentlemen, test ride went all right. We were on the street, not in the driveway no more, so this motherfucker stopped like a dime. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, this will conclude another episode of Fix It Your Motherfucker Self on this 2014 Chevy Empower. We're going to holler at y'all next time around. Until then, wear your mask and shit, man. We'll holler at you.